SBS has a proud history of introducing important, diverse voices to our national conversation. Les Murray, Lee Lin Chin, Andy Samberg, and now this lady. Not all Muslims are terrorists, but every terrorist is a Muslim. Before appearing on SBS's Go Back to Where You Came From, Kim Vuga was just a Facebook campaigner for stopping the boats. Now, she's the leader of the Love Australia or Leave Party, the first political party to be named after a singlet. Go Back to Where You Came From was designed to challenge people's preconceived ideas about refugees, and it succeeded. Kim started off as a woman opposed to letting refugees into Australia, but by the end of the program, she was happy to let refugees into Australia over her dead body. And thanks to her appearance on the show, she went on to appear on high-rating shows like The Project and low-rating shows like The Feed. The Love Australia or Leave Party fills a gaping void in our political landscape. Who are people with anti-Islamic sentiments supposed to vote for? One Nation? The Jackie Lambie Network? They're just not represented. Sure, some people would say that the Love Australia or Leave Party is basically the same as Pauline Hanson's One Nation Party, but as Vuga pointed out to Crikey, there are big policy differences. I'm blonde, she's a redhead. Forget multiculturalism, that's multifollicalism. And while Kim must be pleased that the boats have stopped, there's a much more serious drowning she now wants to address. We are drowning in Australia in a sea of multiculturalism. Yes, girt by tolerance, everyday Australians are suffocating on inclusiveness. Fortunately, Kim has a solution to these tortured metaphors. We're standing up and saying definitely take in zero refugees and put a moratorium on any Islamic immigration into Australia. That's right, when the world is facing the biggest humanitarian crisis of our time with over 65 million people displaced, Kim is brave enough to say, not in my backyard. So over the next few years, as we witness Kim Vuga's inevitable rise to the Senate, remember she got her start as one of the many voices SBS has introduced to Australia. SBS, seven billion stories and one unintended consequence.